Several airlines are deciding to stop serving alcohol as tempers boil over on planes. A woman physically attacked a flight attendant after she was repeatedly told to buckle her seatbelt. That woman even lost a tooth in the assault. Sadly, this isn't the only time things have gotten out of control. Just last Friday, a flight from Los Angeles was diverted to Albuquerque after a passenger approached the cabin in a way that forced flight attendants to act. They tackled a passenger and tied him up, and when they landed in New Mexico, the FBI was waiting for him. Security experts say the flight attendant acted properly in the situation. So what can be done to make our skies a little bit more civil? Fox 46 Chief Transportation Correspondent Hawker Vanguard joins us now. And Hawker, what happens to these passengers? Is there any legal action that could be taken against them when they do things like this? There are in most cases, especially those last two you mentioned with the Southwest Airlines flight attendant and then that gentleman who was arrested on the ground in Albuquerque. He actually just had a court appearance uh, yesterday and today. He's going to be held in a halfway house. But there are civil penalties, so you can go to prison or you can be fined anywhere from nine dollars to $14,000. And you can, uh, you can really think of uh, the instances that these passengers have to go through and deal with their bad behaving passengers. Uh, something has to be done with them and in all cases the airlines are going to back up their crew and we're going to have uh, federal authorities prosecuting these instances to their fullest extent. So Walker, we've actually heard of airlines banning people from their planes, but how long do these bans last? Can they be permanently banned from flying with an airline? You can, and there's two different levels of being banned for flying. You have a federal ban. That's where every single time someone books a ticket, that person's name goes through the TSA's uh, Terrorist Screening Center. That's a specific database that looks at domestic and foreign terrorists as defined by the TSA. But you also have airline-wide bans at that smaller level. So you may be banned on American, but somebody may not be able to be banned on uh, Delta or Southwest, per se. So it's all very subjective, and uh, in situations like that, you may have a redress number that you can use at a later time to fly when maybe you're a little bit more well-behaved, Lindsay. Yeah, kind of sad, Hawker, to see how much this has been happening, um, you know, frequently at this time. But hopefully things will calm down in the skies a little bit. Hawker, thanks.